Hi everyone, um, this is my second video of the day here. Um, I just want to show some 7 inches that I have. I will go through all my collection eventually, but um, I don't know if I can do it in one video. So, um, But it, it is definitely the weakest part of my, my record buying, and I don't have as many, I don't have that much, I mean, probably enough for two videos, hopefully, but... Um, I mean, I used to want to buy more of them, but like I just prefer to buy indie, indie um, rock singles. So they're harder to find for me. So especially the ones I want, like indie pop and stuff. But so I you know, don't buy them that often anymore. Um, but you know, I do enjoy them. I don't mind having to get up and switch it over. And a lot, oftentimes, I listen to this same record over and over again. It's just I don't know just uh, helps me appreciate it more for some reason, just flipping it over, I don't know, but, um, uh, so, I don't know, here's, <laughs> um, the first part of it, um, <coughs> it's a b box set, Cr uh, Jewel by Cranes, this is released on Dedicated Records, 1993, um, Dedicated was a UK indie label that had Chapter House and Beth Orton, um, and, uh, I'm so glad I found this, because I found this, like, seriously, probably the day after I discovered Cranes, and I haven't found any Cranes vinyl since, I don't know, um, but Cranes were a, uh, kind of dream pop, goth, gothic, uh, band, pop band from, uh, from the UK, from the 80s, and 90s, and 2000s, but, um, this is the, the release Jewel, the single from the 1993 album. Comes with three different versions of the single. You have the first part of it here, which has, um, let's see, three tra different tracks, and it has remixes by um, Robert Smith of The Cure and um, JG Throwwell. So that's really cool. Then you have this version of it second part of it, which has remixes by, um, this one has a remix by Eva Watts Russell from, uh, the, f uh, founder of 4D label, so, and this one has re another, uh, JG Thorwell remix, so, really good find for only ten dollars, so, um, put that back in the box real quick, sorry, okay, Next we have probably my favorite single I have, it's um, on Sarah Records, my, f my favorite indie pop labels. It's, the band is Brighter and the single is called Noah's Ark, three tracks. Um, Brighter were just your typical um, pastoral uh, acoustic guitar based indie band. Um, really delicate lyrics, really sensitive, you know. but. Just love this band so much. Um, comes with a nice postcard. This is a really great record label. They, um, it's artistic and stuff and funny as well. There's, there's a, a newsletter order form in here. It's really funny. And next we have um, <clears throat> one of the labels that I really into is Slumberland. It's an indie record label. It has Pains of Being Pure at Heart, Rocket Ship. Henry's Dress, Crystal Stilts, etc. But, um, this is, I, um, the next, real, the next, uh, several records I'm going to show all come from the same, this label, the Sum, uh, Slumberland. It's a Bay Area based label, and really into them because you can pretty much find all their new, newer releases at any record store, and they're really cheap, so, and a lot of them are limited too, so, really cool. But this is a uh, split series they do series called Searching for the Now. This is volume six. It has two tracks on it. Um, the first one is the, um, a band called The School, and the track is um, And Suddenly, which is a left bank cover, and I actually prefer this version to the original, but um, yeah, it's so amazing. And then the second is by a noise pop band called George Washington Brown, and this is on Swirly Black Vinyl. I don't know if it's kind of hard to see, but, yeah. Okay. 
<clears throat> Next we have another sl Slumberland, like I said. The band's called Manatee. Sorry it's so bright, but the whole cover's white, so. Uh, Indecision, backed with 15 Minute Drive. This band features um, Mike Shulman, the guitarist, and Black Tambourine, some other bands, and uh, it's on clear blue vinyl. Yeah. Really great, just uh, more power pop than indie, indie pop, really, so. And I don't even think this band has released anything else, so. Because it's from 2000, 2008, so. Okay, next we have my favorite, one of my favorite releases, Sufferer by Devin Williams. Um, he is, he was the singer, guitar player in the LA based punk band Oscar in the 90s and early 2000s. I love that band so much and um, he's a, sort of a, lo a local artist for me, um, but probably located like, what, 30 minutes away from me, so. But, um, great, this is a great single, great title track, Suffer, and then the back, the B side, um, Who Cares About Forever, so great, and the lyrics are amazing, and, um, hopefully you can find it, like, if you want to listen to it, um, kind of hard to find online, I had a really hard time finding it, I think I found it on Soulseek, so, and this is on, uh, Clear White Vinyl, which I love, I love Clear Vinyl. Next we have uh, The Only One by Frankie Rose and the Outs. Um, she's been in a lot of bands. She's in the Vivian Girls, Crystal Stilts. Um, yeah. Um, and she's in her new current band is Frankie Rose and the Outs, so this is the only only release under her name just by herself, so really cool. Hopefully it becomes a rarity one day, but um, back on green vinyl. Lovely B-side called Hollow Life. Um, I believe that's on the Frankie and the Rose, the album that they put out, but um, or Frankie Rose and the Outs album that they put out, but um, really great. Um, you know, just noisy pop. Next we have my favorite uh, current modern band, The Pains of Being Pure at Heart. A single come Saturday. Back to a side ponytail. This is from their first record on to match it, of course, on green vinyl, clear vinyl. Um, yeah, great band. If you know them, you know why they're so great. Next, and then I have this one as well. Young Adult Friction. Back to with Ramona. Um, you guessed it, the red vinyl. I need to get some more paints of being pure at heart. Seven inches. They have. Oh, Two new singles out, which I haven't get, gotten even gotten yet. They're only four dollars. I should pick them up every time I see it, but I just doubt for some reason. And then uh, there's some other ones, older ones I need to get from uh, that album, the first album. So but that's what I have from there. And then the last Slumberland record I have is an EP called "Don't You Rise" by the Bats, the legendary uh, New Zealand indie pop band that we're on, that we're once on Flying Nun. Love this band so much. Um, you know, they have an association with the clean, you know, they're flying the New Zealand band, so it's just on normal black vinyl. That's, uh, four tracks. Great, great band, great release here. Next we have, um, this is a really cool find. I found this at a record fair, um, by my house, and it's Like an Angel by the Mighty Lemon Drops. This is their first release ever. Um, they're just a indie pop band from the 80s. Released on Dream World Records in 1985, I believe. Yes, 85. Um, really good. They're not my favorite band. My favorite indie pop band, but um, pretty cool to have this. It's really good, and that's in really good condition too. So next, got this at the same the same day on, uh, at the record fair. It is Drumbeat for Baby by Weekend. This is uh, the original Weekend, not the the new Slumberland band called Weekend, but this is the band that was formed by Allison Staten of Young Marble Giants. Um, really jazzy, Bossa Nova influenced indie band, um, which um, 
has uh, Simon Booth, who went on to form Working Week, an 80s jazz pop band. So, um, really good. I really want to get this album, the La, Ver La Verite. Um, it's the only album they ever released. I really want to get that. Next, I have The Darling Buds, Hit the Ground. It's an indie pop band. The female vocalist. Um, this was on CBS, so this is a bigger, one of the bigger albums. But you can tell by the, the sound, especially the drums. It's so heavy, but good song though. I mean, it was cheap, so. Uh, here's Leave Everywhere by Toro y Moi. Newer release. Um, good, um, good, uh, I like this artist. He's associated with the chill wave movement, but this track is actually has guitars in it and then it's more garage lo-fi sounding. It's not um, chill wave at all, but I guess he does that a lot. It changes, but uh, this is Leave Everywhere, Back with First Date on Car Park Records. Um, it was recorded in 2006. Uh, I like this label a lot. I don't know why, but it's just so simple. A&D. Yeah. And uh, I know I'm only at the 11 minute mark. I have, you know, few minutes remaining, but I'm just going to stop here and continue with the rest later, so I have a few more to show you, so hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching. See you later, guys.